And that was a very beautiful performance by the sexy Miss V. Do I have any natural girls in the house? Okay, that's not loud enough. Are we not proud of being African? Any natural girls in the house? Yes, that's about. And who's winning tonight, though? Okay, so I hear lots of Bella. So now, how about we end the show already and give the crown to Bella? Yeah, then maybe I think afterwards so too. we can. Well, <laughs> you take the crown, I'll take the car. No, you can keep the crown. <laughs> I prefer the car. But anyways, um, every year the ladies tour one beautiful African country, and well, this year they were given the chance to tour Ethiopia, courtesy Ethiopian Airlines. And so I have um, one of them here, a representative from Ethiopian Airlines. Good evening, madam. Good evening, good evening. How are you feeling tonight? I am happy to be here. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to Ethiopian Airways for sponsoring Miss Malaika Ghana. But before we even go into that, can you tell us how um, far the operations in Ghana have been like so far? Yeah, we have been here more than uh, 54 years in Ghana. We operated about 54 years and we are proud to be here. <laughs> yes, definitely. And we're proud to have you here as well. Now, you could have partnered any other organization or institution, but you decided to partner with us to sponsor Miss Malaika Ghana. Why? Yeah, it is a, a social responsibility, supporting uh, less pay, uh, privileged peoples. So we want to support that. Yes, definitely. And I'm sure before the end of tonight's show, a lot of people would have booked with Ethiopian Airways. Thank you so much for partnering with us. A round of applause for Ethiopian Airways. And um, I see another beautiful lady in the house. Gina West, face of Sibodam. Hi, ah, you look lovely. <laughs> Thank you. How are you feeling tonight? Fabulous. And how does it feel like to be the face of Sibodam? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm the face of Sibodam, but tonight I'm representing them. And um, we're very happy to be here and to be able to support this, uh, this uh, pageant. Yes, definitely. Anyway, do you have any favorite yet? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Okay, an alphabet in the person's name. A. A. So, who has A in her name? Everyone does. Everyone so, let's see does. who wins. Thank you so much, Gina, and keep looking fabulous. Okay, yes, something about Sivodem, please. Okay, so Sivodem, as you all know or should know, um, will give you beautiful skin. So, that's why we're so interested in supporting something like this, because we're looking at beautiful women, women who are beautiful from the inside out, right? Did I get that right? Right. <laughs> and um, Sivodam um, has products that will make you beautiful and stay beautiful. All right. And from henceforth, we're all going to use Sivodam and look as beautiful as you. Thank you so much. Like I said, keep looking fabulous all the time. All right, now, Shoko, my work here is done for now. So I'm going to hand over to you. And oh, congratulations, by the way. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Bella. And thank you, Ethiopian Airlines. Thank you, Sivodem, for sponsoring Miss Malaka Ghana 2014. And also, I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for coming out tonight. It's great to see a full house. Put your hands together for yourselves. Awesome. Now, our ladies have been together for the last three months. They've been friends. They have become sisters. They have bonded. And actually, they're almost inseparable now. But there's no denying the fact that this is a competition. And they're all here for that beautiful, enviable Miss Malaika Ghana crown. So, the competition proper starts now. We're going to hear from our delegates one after the other. Let's welcome delegates number one on stage. Anne. Delegate one, Anne. Exactly a year ago, I was in your seat cheering others on. A year down the line, I'm going to be on this big stage to prove to you why I deserve to be Miss Malaika Ghana 2014. I'm Anne Ikiakufu, your delegate number one. Welcome delegate number one, Anne. Lovely. Thank you. Now you also look very, very good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm doing very good. Very good? 
All right, are you ready to win? Yes. Okay, so I have one question for you. But before I ask you the question, let me just ask you a, a question to help you relax. Okay, taking a deep breath and out. Between money and love, which would you choose? I'll choose money. You choose money? Why? <laughs> that sounds very honest, I must say. <laughs> Why? One, I love money, and two, if I have money, I mean, I can... Um... <laughs> okay, we all love money. Now, let me ask you your main question. Should you win the crown tonight, Miss Malaka Ghana 2014, what would you do with it? During the whole of this pageant, one episode that really touched my heart was the charity episode. And my group and I were able to help three elderly women. And there's this agency also in Denmark that I've been working with, and we intend helping elderly women who are in need of help, and that is what I really, really want to do. So when I win, I'll use my crown to solicit for funds, and then go on helping elderly women and men who need help. Okay, so that's it. Well, thank you, Anne, and all the best. All right, you may go backstage now. Give it up for Anne. And I'd like to say special thanks to Jessica Talks for Anne's outfit tonight. Now let's welcome up on stage delegate number two, Irene. Delegate two, Irene. I believe in greatness. I believe to achieve a goal, you need prayer, determination, and hard work. First of all, I want to thank all of you out there for your votes, your support, and your prayers. This journey is just about to end with so much fulfillment and I entreat you all out there to expect the very best of me tonight. My name is Erini Bina Biba. So much. How are you feeling? I'm good. Are you nervous? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, let me ask you this question before your main question. Choose one, fire or water? Water. Why? Because it's easier to die in. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, should you win the crown tonight, Miss Malaika Ghana 2014, what would you do with it? Thank you for your question. And before, if I win, Miss Malaika, I think it will give me the good platform to make aware to Ghanaians the reason why they should keep their environment clean. Okay, so you help educate Ghanaians to keep the environment clean. All right, that's it. Thank you, Irene. You may go backstage. Put your hands together for Irene. Delegate 3, Ivy. Hi, wonderful people of Ghana. This is your girl, Ivy. I believe that you can achieve all your dreams with determination, perseverance, and hard work. Miss Malaika has been a challenging but fun experience for me. The journey hasn't been all rosy, but it has been worth it. Tonight, I will give you all of me. You are going to be entertained informed and educated. I'm your delegate number three. find you I'm great are you feeling okay yes I'm excited because I've come this far <laughs> well I'm excited for you too now before I ask you your main question if your father and your husband were drowning who would you save <laughs> okay I'll save my dad 
You save your dad? Why? Yes, because I have only one father. And yeah, you can get another husband, right? <laughs> huh. Okay, all right. Ivy, your question is, should you win Miss Malaika Ghana 2014? Tonight, what would you do with the crown? Okay, first of all, I'll thank God for this great opportunity because Miss Malaika has always been a dream and it has um, finally come true. Then I'm going to use this um, crown to impact lives and also um, um, embark on my charity project. Thank you very much. All right, charity projects it is. Thank you, Ivy. You may go backstage. Delegate four, Mina. The measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. Tonight, I'm using what I have and do to educate as well as to entertain you. I thank you all for your unflinching support and vote. I therefore entreat you to do more by texting Mina to 1757 across all networks. I am Ohemina Bwedi Kofi and your delegate number four. Thank you. Great. How are you feeling? I feel good, like seeing the crowd and everything. I feel very good. Okay, well, I have a question for you. But before that, arrange this in order of importance. Wealth, health, and family. Health, family, and wealth. Health, family, and wealth. Okay, I won't ask you why. Mina, should you win Miss Malaka Ghana 2014 tonight? What would you do with your crown? Thank you very much. Miss Malaika Ghana, which is a dream, will become a reality for me tonight. This is because since the competition, I've had this conviction to win and also to, my passion for human, humanitarian works will drive me to win. I would want to embark on maternal maternity because our women are not giving the attention they need. I mean, the men are doing all the things they have to do, but women are less privileged in our society. So I would use my crown to help women in our country. Thank you very much. All right, we're driving the feminist agenda. Give it up for me now. And up next is delegate number five. Give it up for Joyce. Delegate 5, Joyce. One important key to success is self-confidence. Tonight, I am confident. My name is Joyce Aye, and I'm delegate number 5. The journey so far has been very educated. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have supported me and brought me this far. Win or not, tonight is going to be very educated and exciting. Have a good evening. Absolutely lovely. How are you feeling tonight? <laughs> feeling good tonight. That's good. It's good to feel good. Joyce, arrange this in order of importance to you. Family, wealth, and health. Family. Because you're always going to be there. And then? Wealth is going to pass away. Money is going to pass away as well. So family. Okay, so family, health, and wealth. 
No, you're supposed to arrange in order of importance, but, but that's not the question for tonight. The question is, should you win Miss Malaika Ghana 2014 tonight? What would you do with your crown? I will use my crown. I believe this is a prestigious um, platform for me to be able to go all out and go all out for the less privileged. So I will use my, my crown to fund for funds. I mean, for funds. And then I'll support the less privileged in this. Okay. So you will help support the less privileged in our society. Awesome. Thank you, Joyce. You may go backstage. And up next is delegate number six. Give it up for Anita. Delegate six, Anita. Hello, everyone. My name is Anita Osei, your delegate number six. Tonight, I'm here to educate you, to motivate you, and to captivate you. The Malaika experience has been so much fun, and I've had a wonderful time. The lessons, the experience, and the friendship I would forever cherish. For me, tonight, the victory is not just about winning the crown, but the impact you are going to make to the society at large after you are crowned the winner. So why don't you just sit back and relax? Because tonight is going to be a fun time. In the end, when all is said and done, the name still remains Anita, your delegate number six. Thank you. I'm feeling excited. You've got a lot of fans in the house, you know. Okay. Anita, choose between law and medicine. Law. You don't like science? No, law all the time. I love law. Okay, good. Now, I have your main question for you now. Are you ready? If you win the crown tonight and you crowned Miss Malaika Ghana 2014, what would you do with your crown? Thank you very much for your question. Should I win the crown tonight? I would like to embark on a youth empowerment project through motivational speaking and skills training. <laughs> Throughout history, there have been remarkable stories of people who have overcome impossible odds and left their footprints in the sands of time. And I believe that these people were motivated. So the best investment you can make in anybody's life is to impact the person's life. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You may go backstage, Anita. All right. Up next is delegate number seven, Stephanie. Delegate seven, Stephanie. If you can dream it, then you can be it. First of all, I want to thank God for bringing me this far. I wouldn't be here without him. And I want to thank all my fans for supporting me right from day one. I wouldn't be here without you either. Tonight you are going to witness a lifetime changing performance of a lady who had a dream and never gave up on him. My name is Stephanie Sewajiman, 20 years and a final year economic student of Central University. And I'm your delegate number seven. Give it up for Stephanie! Hello, Stephanie. Hello. You look lovely. Thank you. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> You're good? Well, good is good. Stephanie, choose between law and medicine. Um, thank you for your question. Hmm. Okay. I'll choose medicine. Why? 
And because I can use medicine to save myself when I'm sick, and I can, I can save my family and my loved ones as well. So you can save lives. Awesome. Stephanie, should you win the crown tonight, what would you do with it? Thank you for your question. First of all, when I use the crown tonight, I'm going to embark on my childhood dreams of helping people with autism. I want to create awareness on autism, and I want to embark on care and training programs for autism. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Stephanie. I wish you all the best. You may go backstage. Let's now welcome upstage delegate number eight, Kathleen. Delegate eight, Kathleen. I always say to myself that if I believe and I'm determined, I'll definitely be a winner. I know that it's your prayers, your love and your support that has brought me this far. And now, it is my turn to show everybody what I'm made of. As usual, I'm not going to say much, but tonight I'm going to surprise all of you in the most amazing way. And in the future, we'll all sit back and say, it wasn't easy, but it was definitely worth it. I'm Ann Kathleen Anan. 18 years, a student of the University of Ghana, and I'm delegate number eight. Have a wonderful evening. feeling I'm okay <laughs> you're okay right all right Kathleen choose between money and love I go for love oh that's so sweet <laughs> all right Kathleen should you win the crown tonight Miss Malika Ghana 2014 what would you do with it just like I'm an and now you I'd want to use the crown and the money to help the poor and needy in society. Whilst people are busily getting involved in political issues, some people are there, they don't have any food to eat. Children are there and they don't have any school. They are, they are at home. They go to school under trees. So I'd want to use the money to help these people in society. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. And I wish you all the best. You may go backstage now. Delegate 9, Cynthia. To achieve your goals, you have to be determined and focused. This pageant has been an educative and a life changing one for me. I thank you all for your support and how far you have brought me. Tonight, I'm not just here to win Miss Malaika, but I'm also here to impact in the lives of many people. I am Cynthia Ose, Delegate number 9. I won't let you down. Relax and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much and God bless you. How are you feeling? I'm great. I'm happy. Oh, you're happy. <laughs> Happiness is good. Okay, Cynthia, I arranged this in order of importance to you. Family, wealth, and health. Health, family, and wealth. Okay. Give it up for Cynthia. All right, Cynthia. Should you win the crown tonight and you become Miss Malaika Ghana 2014 and drive away the slickier Rio, what would you do with the crown? 
When I win Miss Malaika Ghana, I'll use the crown and my popularity to help brilliant but needy children with education. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Thank you so much, Cynthia. You may go backstage tonight. not least welcome up on stage delegate number 10 Sharon delegate 10 Sharon in life I believe if opportunity doesn't come knocking you build a door my experience in this competition has been exhilarating personality boosting educative and life transforming tonight the curtains are going to be drawn on the competition however in the midst of it all I pray that God's will be done in the end I'd like to thank the almighty God, my family, my friends, and my loved ones for supporting me selflessly. I am Sharon Davidor, I am 18 years old, and your delegate number 10. Thank you. nice tonight. How are you feeling? Very nervous. You're very nervous. Let's breathe. Whew. <laughs> I know. Okay, so here's a question to help calm you down, okay? Choose between water and fire. Definitely water. Water. You choose water. Yeah, water is cool. All right, so here's your question. Should you be crowned Miss Malika Ghana tonight? What would you do with your crown? Well, thank you. Can I I believe everyone has the right to be educated. When I am crowned Miss Malaika 2014, I plan on helping the brilliant but needy children in school. With a crown, I am going to solicit for funds from companies, be it in cash or kind, and based on that, I'll be able to help the brilliant but needy children go, <laughs> go to school. That is your dreams becoming a reality. Thank you. All right, Sharon, pretty good. You may go backstage now. All right. So we've heard from all 10 delegates, and I'm sure by now you have an idea who your queen tonight will be, right? So who is it? All right, you're all right. Next is the fun part. You know our favorite part of the show, the talent segment. But before that, let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. Delegates Young Trendy Hair and Makeup by Exotic Trends. We care about your hair. Breakfast for our delegates has been provided by Coco King, purveyors of fine foods. Sumptuous delicious meals and pizza provided by Papa's Pizza. Beautiful trendy fabrics by GTP New Style. More colors, more designs. Still photos of delegates online and press by Acubelt Impressions. <laughs> 